If it wasn't for this group, I don't think I would have made it. <laughs> yeah. I'm Pat Hall. I'm a retired registered nurse. I'm a member of the Board of Directors for the Alzheimer's Foundation, and I spent 34 years in long-term care. This disease affects one out of 10 over the age of 65 and almost half of the population over the age of 85. And often in this state, um, the spouse is trying to take care of a loved one or the loved one is alone. Children have moved out of the area to seek employment elsewhere, and so it's very difficult for them to have a support group. My name is Stephen Hannock, and I was a caregiver for my wife for at least six years until she had passed. She's been gone for two years. I had a few good points uh, with my wife. She wanted to know everything about it, and she understood it all, and gradually she became and worse and worse. When it came up to the end, I was the only one that she would recognize. My name is Gary Johnson and I'm a primary caregiver for my father. He was starting to slip mentally. We determined that it was senile dementia and I said, well, you could come and live with me, Dad. It sounded like a, a great thing to do. What I didn't realize was how incredibly difficult it is to be a caregiver. The first thing I said when I came to this group first night was uh, I need help because I just couldn't comprehend that caregiving of a loved one could be so incredibly difficult. My name's Ron Budash. I'm the marketing director and co-facilitator of the support group. We found that there was a, uh, a growing need in our community to work at the grassroots level with people who were inflicted with dementia, Alzheimer's. And I became a member of the organization through my friend Ron. My wife had, at the time, had Alzheimer's and uh, I needed some help as a caregiver. And Ron asked me to come to the meeting and from that point on, uh, it's been, it was a blessing for me. The hardest thing that they have to face is to look at their loved ones and to know that that person will never be the same again. I was married to my wife 54 years, but when she came down and over the months, you could see that she's gone. The person that I married is gone. And, and you have to learn to accept that, and it takes time. Being here, it helped me a lot to understand that the person's gone and will never come back again. It took about a year, and I met a friend of mine, he was a psychologist, and he recommended that I go seek help through a foundation where uh, I could talk to other people. I think probably for the first year I didn't say a whole lot and, and then I started opening up and uh, they always consoled me. I'm a, uh, the primary caregiver for my husband, Ron, who is 69 years old. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. But I joined this group, first night I came, all I did was cry. I couldn't, I couldn't get anything out. I, I couldn't believe I was in this group. And I thought I was the Lone Ranger. I could do it all by myself, but somebody directed me here to the support group. That's the best thing they ever did. It was one night I was here and I started talking about different things and almost everybody in this room hugged me. That made me feel really good. Then. As other people opened up about their situations, it became easier. So I've been coming steady for two years now, and I need this group. And after finding this group uh, and realizing how beneficial it was to come here, it was just the sharing, the loving, the caring. Um, there is nothing easy about this disease. It is very, very difficult. And thank God that we have the group here well, I just think that Johnstown has a large aging population and uh, there's not a lot of organizations out there that will help. And with the price of care and for this group to provide respite care to the caregivers, it's amazing. It's very, very expensive. I depend on this group totally for support. So it helps to talk about it. It helps to get the hugs, people to 
sympathize with you. We're very grateful for uh, being recognized by the Senior Spirit Committee so that we have a chance to tell people that we're here for you. We thank you. We thank you.